There's a brand new restaurant in Tarzana. The chef is serving up delicious and healthy food, but 118 degrees isn't just a destination, it's part of a movement. Owner and executive chef Jenny Ross is here now with a look at the menu. And welcome, Jenny. We have a lot of uh, healthy, beautiful foods here, and I was just asking you earlier, no heat applied ever, No right? heat, no. We use things like dehydrators, sous vide machines, so low heat, like 118 degrees yeah. or lower, to maintain all those enzymes and all the nutrient density of the food that we prepare. And for people who don't know, 118 is when food starts to break down it and is. lose its nutritional value, Commonly right? agreed upon temperature. Every food is a little bit different, so we just take that number and we work from there. Well, let's go ahead and start and uh, show the folks here what we're going to make. Well, there's some fun, easy things you can do at home if you mm -hmm. want to have more fresh living foods in your diet. I brought a fresh young Thai coconut here mm -hmm. today and this is a, the closest thing to blood plasma found in nature. Let's see if I can get it in there. So coconut water really does have all those health benefits that we hear about all the time. It's very high in electrolytes. If I put some electrodes in here it would light a light bulb. Really? And so if you are what you eat, wow. you know, start the day off right with something yeah. like that. <laughs> and I'm going to add to it some uh, tropical fruit. You could use berries for this, mango, pineapple, whatever you prefer. I always love to go to the local farmer's market and grab what is fresh and in season that day. Mm -hmm. But we're going to add some greens to this. So the stronger the flavor of the fruit, the better the taste in the end. That way you can get your greens in without having to worry about the taste, right? Mm -hmm, absolutely. So we've got some mango. We'll throw the banana in. And now the kale. And the very last thing I'm going to add today is spirulina. I've seen that a lot. It's 80% yeah. protein by volume. So this is a great supplement to start adding into so smoothies. Is this algae? Or? It is. Yep. It's an algae that grows in the ocean uh, or saltwater environments. Mm -hmm. And we just need a little bit. That's all we need. Great for the brain, perfect for concentration. And in the morning, we all need a little bit mm -hmm. of help in that area, I'd say. And we're just going to throw this in here and turn it on, start it on low, because all these beautiful ingredients in a mm -hmm. high power blender. So it's going to blend them up really fast. Mm -hmm. So this is a great breakfast smoothie or any time of the day, and it's available at the restaurant, right? It is, absolutely. And you can also pick up these recipes in my books. Mm -hmm. Simple and easy to use. Let's go ahead and uh, fire that up and see what it, what it does here. How did you get involved in healthy eating? Because obviously, this is a new trend these days. A lot of people are doing it. How did you get involved? Well, for me, um, healthy eating was about changing my own lifestyle so that my body mm -hmm. could heal. I had a lot of issues with digestion and I tried a lot of different things, but when I came to try living foods, in two short weeks, all of my symptoms had reversed. Mm -hmm. And a year later, I went back to my doctor. He said, You've completely changed your body. You're completely healed. And the great thing about eating this, I've, I've eaten this before, you just feel so light later. You don't feel heavy. That's just, right. It feels really, really, really good. Right. So when you're doing a green smoothie at home, one thing to remember is just keep that thing blending until all the little pieces are gone. Mm -hmm. You don't want a salad in a cup. You want it to taste great. So I'm going to turn it back on for just a few more seconds and then we can try it. While that's doing this thing and done, we get to that. We also want to get to some of the yeah. other items we have here. That is a loud blender uh, doing its work We're there. We're so, all done. Mm -hmm. So Perfect. we'll pour that out, and as soon as you do that, let's go ahead and tell the uh, folks sure. what, what else we have here, because we have about a minute left. Okay, so it can be fast and easy to do more fresh raw foods at home. All you have to do is grab some simple ingredients. Mm -hmm. I have julienne squash here and a pesto that we're just going to throw on top. This is another recipe favorite at the restaurant, and we can just toss this together real quick, give it a good go. Mm -hmm. So we've heard of spaghetti squash. This is the zucchini version of That's it. That's right. right, and this um, the sauce just naturally softens the noodles. So we're replacing traditional noodles with the zucchini. Mm -hmm. noodle. I'm seeing that happen right here. Yeah, much better, a little bit healthier, definitely a lot lower in carbohydrate. Throw some marinated mushrooms from the Sedona dehydrator and some tomatoes in. And we are almost done with one of our recipe favorites at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. This is on our meal plans and also in the classes that we teach live. We show a lot of these quick, easy recipes you could do at home. So if you do want to change your body, you also mm -hmm. have a plan where you can sign up for food delivered to your home. Absolutely. And the thinking process is taken out of it. You do all the That's thinking That's right, for because all these great cheeses, like I'm adding a, a Ramajan cheese here that we mm -hmm. make from macadamia nuts, they're all made in house at the restaurant. Um, and then you can take this home and enjoy an alkaline diet all week long mm -hmm. and take all the worry and fuss out of it. Wow, Chef, thank you so yes. much. We've already run out of time, but everything looks so great. I'll try the smoothie in a minute. For more information about 118 degrees and National Nutrition Month, it's happening this month, go to kcalmine.com, click. Seen on TV. Thank you so much.